Hi, everyone. Um, it's my privilege to uh, say a few closing words uh, before turning it over quickly to uh, my collaborator, Professor Harris. And then uh, finally, the law review students will have uh, the very last word. Um, so first, I want to uh, thank the people who have acknowledged and um, our organizational work, that's that's very generous and your kind words do mean a lot to us. But we also want to make clear that everything we did from the initial proposal to today's programming uh, is the product of collaboration. And so we want to be careful to, to decenter ourselves in these closing remarks. Um, we were excited to bring people together to talk about the disability frame, but this is not an idea that belongs to us or to any other single person. This event would not have come together, but for a bunch of people inside and outside academia, thinking imaginatively about disability and law. We see our role as catalysts and conveners, uh, and we think we have done some helpful definitional work, uh, but we are uh, not, the, not the inventors, and nor do we control what happens from here. We will write up some thoughts for the law review to memorialize what happened at this event and to try to distill some themes, uh, and we are excited to share that with you in due course, but we think this will be an evolving uh, conversation, a collective discussion, and, and we look forward to watching what happens next. Uh, the last thing I will say, uh, we are grateful for what we have learned from this event, and we are humble about what we have left to learn. We are sure that many great questions and perspectives did not make it into the formal programming. I'm just looking at some of the great questions from the last panel that we unfortunately had to leave on the table, but we will be thinking about those, and we welcome you to be in touch with us about what the event failed to capture and what we could uh, think more about going forward. I'll give the floor now to Professor Harris. Thank you. Hey, Professor Tani, this is Jasmine Harris speaking. And I just want to add that we want to leave you with one final point about the disability frame. While disability is a critical lens to apply universally to all we do, as we've discussed over the two days, the disability frame itself requires thoughtful deployment. Part of that deep thinking requires valuing the work of people with disabilities, as we've heard directly from people with disabilities and academics with disabilities throughout these two days. And it requires shifting the default to universal design thinking that not only centers disability, but people with lived experiences and changing our conceptions of what counts as expertise. In some sense then, this symposium calls upon all of us, legal scholars, activists, practitioners, lawmakers, bureaucrats, philanthropists to engage meaningfully in reframing disability. This reframing work then requires us to think about the ways that we use disability frames every day in the work and in our lives, to be mindful of and intentional about the choices we make. And as Rebecca Coakley said, the work requires us to build a field. Understand your role in this and keep engaging with us and with each other. And with that, I will turn this over to Matt and Leticia to close out this tremendous symposium. Thank you again for being with us. Thank you so much, Professor Harris. This is again, Matthew. Um, I, I do need to thank you know, the, several people that made this event possible uh, before we close. Um, first, Leticia Salazar, who, who has just been such a guiding light for this volume, both in um, uh, you know, publishing and, and, and bringing to the forefront new groundbreaking scholarship and to promote a sense of community at a time when it is difficult to gather in person. And I think this symposium is an example of um, both of those goals, but it's just one among many. Uh, thank you to Erica Rodarte, who has done as much, if not more than me, to make this event possible, um, all while working on a dozen other projects for the Law Review uh, and the work to make the journal run day to day. I uh, want to thank Ralph Mullen for his uh, help in bringing this event together and especially um, in, in making it more accessible. I want to thank our interpreters, Joy and Donna, uh, as well as our captionist. Um, thank you to Dimitri Islam and the student affairs team, as well as Chris Olson of the Penn Law ITS team as we navigated the wild process of going from a hybrid event uh, on campus, then off campus, then to, to our current remote format today. Um, thank you to every single one of our panelists. These conversations have been extraordinary. 
Um, every single panel, I wish we could have gone on for uh, much longer. And I, I, these conversations don't stop today at all. Um, and thank you for bearing with my interruptions um, and my more than few frantic emails over the past week or two. Um, and and want to thank professors Tani and Harris for um, organizing this incredible symposium um, 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 for the, you know, the, the substantive thoughts they brought to it and just being incredible partners over these past 10, 11 months. And, and finally, I want to thank you, every single person who has come out this weekend. Um, you know, I, you know, I, I, I think that I'm, I'm just moved by how, not just how many have joined us, but the broad group that has joined us um, kind of well outside the, the legal academia uh, group that we often bring together for these events. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but we're just um, uh, so encouraged that the conversation has su had such broad interest as Representative Presley um, discussed how in a democracy, the power is with the people, with, with us, and, and it is just so encouraging. This work is never done, but again, it is encouraging. Um, that work also applies to this conference. Um, we tried to make this event as inclusive as possible. We were far from perfect in that regard, uh, far from perfect. Um, but I want to say that we learned a lot in, in presenting this event, and I want to say that that learning doesn't end today. It's only getting started. Uh, we will prioritize access and inclusion from day one, whatever our, our you know, for our future symposia, whatever those those substantive topics may be. Um, you know, and, and we want to share what we learned. We've learned with. Uh, um, other organizations within Penn Law to make sure that that these uh, these this learning isn't stuck in a vacuum. Um, one more time, I just absolutely want to thank everyone for joining us, and I'm going to turn it over to Leticia one more time to conclude our symposium. Leticia, thank you, Matt. Um, I want to echo all of his thank yous. We are so honored that we were given the opportunity to use our platform for good, um, and to make sure that we are furthering the conversation surrounding disability and promoting disability scholarship. Um, my name is Leticia Salazar, the editor-in-chief of Penn Law Review. Um, and we are so thrilled that you guys joined us throughout the weekend. Um, in addition to Matt's thank yous, I want to give an extra thank you to our faculty sponsors, Professors Tani and Harris, for trusting us with your vision um, and something that we wanna do. Um, we hope to find a time to do it in person early next week, but we wanted to give some time to do it now. We actually got you guys some awards, some plaques. Um, this one is Professor Harris's and this one is Professor Tani's. Um, and we are just so happy that both of you um, have been along this journey with us and this collaboration. Um, and we couldn't be more thrilled with our final product. Um, an additional thank you to Matt and Erica, the small but mighty three-person Law Review editor team um, for putting this together and just being supportive of everything that you guys have moving forward. Um, those two members of the journal are just so remarkable and we really couldn't have done this without your help. So thank you both, Matt and Erica. Um, and finally, thank you all of you at home. Um, again, this is this just the beginning of the conversation. We've learned so much throughout this conference, things that we will take forward regardless of you know, whatever topics we, we you know, proceed with. At the end of the day, um, as a journal, we have immense privilege and it, it is our opportunity um, and our responsibility to make sure that we are making sure that all of these topics remain accessible. Um, so thank you so much for all that you've taught us, for all the amazing questions, to all the panelists and speakers for driving very important conversation. Um, and with that, like I said, this is only the beginning and we hope that a lot of these fruitful conversations continue outside of this uh, panel and, and these discussions and this symposium. Um, and I look forward to seeing a lot of that online, offline, um, and anywhere that uh, is accessible to all of us. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, and with that, we wrap up our uh, symposium, The Disability Frame. Thank you.